In today's world of market volatility and uncertainty, your retirement plans need to be front and center. With ever-changing tax laws, healthcare worries, and an unpredictable stock market, don't overlook the vulnerability in your retirement planning. Protecting your family and estate will be difficult with shifting policies in Washington. It's more important than ever to keep an eye on retirement. Hi, and welcome into I Am Retirement, the weekly show that keeps you in the know about all things retirement. I'm your host, Rick Everett, and we're glad to have you with us in this episode. We've got the full team of compliment here as far as Market Advisory Group with Matt Goolsby, Managing Partner and Investment Advisor with Market Advisory Group. Our lead CPA with Market Tax Services, Joshua Sikora. Corey Hebert, Medicare Advisor with Market Medicare Advisors, and Devin Seward of Eidelman Law Firm, an attorney with the firm. Gentlemen, welcome in. In this first scenario, we're going to cover with you a real life story about people who had been saving and planning for retirement, but with the recent turbulence in the market, it just it left them somewhat at a loss as to what to do next, Matt. Yeah, they were two teachers that, um, you know, here they'd worked their whole lives and saved for retirement. Of course, they were going to have pensions, but uh, and they were, uh, you know, looking forward to t turning those on. But then they had some social security questions, and then they had uh, a nest egg saved for retirement. And they really didn't know what to do with that, with all the volatility and the chaos that the market can bring. And they had a lot of questions on a lot of items. I mean, um, as an investment advisor, I can help them with the social security questions, the income plan, the investment options, the, the risk, uh, dialing that in as well. But then I have to rely on these other professionals, whether it's the CPA for tax advice, the Medicare advisors for help with their Medicare plans, or maybe even our estate planning attorneys on what they need to go or what they need for that. And they had all kinds of questions for me. And fortunately, we didn't have to refer them to anyone else. We just brought these other members in the of the team in the conference room, and they got answers in real time there. I mean, she had questions on some of her Medicare options. He was soon turning 65. Um, they had questions on what kind of documents they needed for an estate plan. They also had tax questions, but they had really been doing their taxes on their own for quite a while. But Joshua actually working with them was able to save them quite, quite a deal of money. Joshua, explain your role in helping out this pair of teachers. Yeah, so a lot of times when, when Matt brings me into the conference room or any of the financial advisors, uh, I look at the tax return and that gives me someone's context of what they have going on. However, in this situation, after reviewing their return, I was able to see that, yeah, they had those rentals they had had for a few years, but the, the tax software they were using, you know, one of these online deals, it really wasn't guiding them too much into how to appropriately account for that rental activity. So, you know, once you file a return for a couple of years, the IRS says, okay, this is, you have an accounting method for how you're treating this. And in this situation, the accounting method they were using was a wrong one. They had been emitting something from their return, which was costing them, you know, thousands of dollars in, in you know, over the time they've had these rentals. You know, software can ask them those kind of questions. No. It just plugs along on a checklist. That's right. It just kind of gives you these blanks and it's up to you to know how to fill out the blanks. So I was uh, looking through the return, noticed this, and talked to them about how we can file an additional form with their return that year to go back and claim that deduction that they had missed over the last several years. You actually got a money back on their tax return. A lot of money back. They, they were surprised. They said, we've owed every year. And it's like, well, that's just the benefits of having real life tax professionals that can answer questions like mm -hmm. that in the moment. But then they also had questions on taxation of social security, pension, the whole the whole, you know, gamut of that we normally get asked. That's right. That's right. But then Medicare was an important conversation then after that. Right. And Corey, I was just getting ready to ask about your involvement with these folks. Yeah, so this one was a, a bit of an interesting case because the wife had been on disability um, for over two years. And whenever we are on disability for longer than two years, we are automatically enrolled into Medicare. Well, she didn't even expect that initial enrollment when she first got signed up. She didn't know about that two-year period. So she just rushed and picked a plan right away. And she was 60 and didn't have a full understanding of the plan she had. Was upset with the current coverage she was getting, but thought that she was stuck in that plan for the rest of her life. Well, come to find out, whenever you do turn 65, if you've previously been on Medicare due to a disability, 
you get a second open enrollment period um, that not many people get that second chance to change their Medicare plan. Um, so she actually was able to, when she turned 65, change that Medicare plan and get into a better situation. Well, when you say second chance to change your Medicare plan, people can change supplements, right? Yeah, we can change supplements at any point um, throughout the year, um, at any point in time, as long as we can go through underwriting. Now, her having had been on disability, um, it was very slim chance that we were ever going to get through underwriting. But because she was on it before 65 and the second open enrollment period, we were able to find a better situation for her with she, no underwriting. She, just like myself, were pretty surprised that she had a second chance to pick a different plan because, like you said, she had some health conditions going on there that had kind of locked her into options, she thought. And that is surprising. I wasn't aware of the second opportunity, if you will. It's not advertised because it's not available to many people, but below the age of 65, you get a second one when you turn 65. Devin Seward with Eidelman Law Firm. I know in your work with these folks, it's kind of like the best laid plans of mice and men. If you don't have all the I's dotted and T's crossed, well, I'll let you share the story. Absolutely. <clears throat> I remember this couple very well. They came in, they thought they already had an estate plan all set up. So they bring in their documents. I give them a quick review. I find several errors right off the bat. Um, they only had a one page form uh, will. Um, it wasn't even notarized. Um, the first piece of advice I gave him right off the bat was, you know, you're going to have to outlive these witnesses. Um, they're going to need to come to court when this will gets probated and they're going to have to testify that they were the witness. And on top of that, the will didn't even have their address, so it was going to be hard to get a hold of those people. Um, uh, they thought everything was set up perfectly, and so as soon as I told them this, they were a little worried. They also brought in um, a trust document. It seemed fine on its face, and then I looked through it page by page. They never signed the document. It had never been executed. So it turned out they don't even have a trust. They think they're set up with uh, all their real estate properties in a trust, and none of it was set up properly. So, I mean, you know, that's just something that I would have to go over with them and help them fix. And, I mean, they, they thought they had it all taken care of, but as, until you have a, a professional attorney look over your documents, you just never really know. Matt, that's got to be disheartening. It was, it was probably the biggest shock of, of, of the initial consultation with them going through that and having Devin come in from Idle Law Firm and talk about, well, yeah, here th this estate plan was drafted many years ago. In fact, it was the draft. The, mm -hmm. the attorney just sent them the draft and they thought it was completed, threw it in a drawer and they were done with it. And all the different areas of questions that they have that as an investment advisor, I can't answer. And oftentimes in our industry, when you have a question, whether it's tax, Medicare, or estate planning, and you're working with a financial advisor, they'll refer you to someone else, and then it's your responsibility to communicate all the details and the technicalities and the situations. And most of the time, it's not uncommon for that to get lost in translation, let alone left out, or you just get busy and you go along your, your retirement life and enjoy it. But, uh, you know, where, what is it? Um, you know, ignorance is, is probably not bliss in right. a situation, but <laughs> right. they had a lot of questions, and we were really happy to help them get answers to all those questions. And that's just what we do every day here as a team. A real life scenario where every component of the team came into play from the financial planning, Joshua actually getting a money back that they didn't even know was there for them. Corey with a, a surprise open enrollment round two at age 65 because of the fact that they, she had been on disability prior. And then the unearthing of a document that wasn't even signed. So it's important to have a team and do you have a whole team going to work for you? Who's watching out for your best interest? At Market Advisory Group, we provide a holistic approach to retirement planning, from the financial to the tax planning, as well as Medicare advising and estate planning. And we do it all under one roof for your convenience. We'd like to set up a complimentary, no obligation consultation for you right now. Our operators are standing by at 316-252-8707. Again, 
256-252-8707. And if you'd like to submit a question for use on a future show, you can sure do so, as well as catch past episodes at ionretirement.com. We'll be right back after this. When people work with Market Advisor Group, they get a feel of sense of family. There's a lot of relationships that are made and going on in this conference room, and we really take a lot of pride in that and a lot of satisfaction in that. Every client we work with, we make a custom-made plan to fit them and help reach their goals in life. Another thing that makes us unique is we want to meet regularly with our client and have reviews. Market Advisory Group, we, we have a process, and the process we take people through is first to understand what they have, understand who they are, and then we put together an income plan for them and show them how they, again, they can look forward to retirement and not look, though retirement is going to be a stressful time. It needs to be a stress-free time. A few unique features of working with Market Advisory Group is uh, holistic in-house financial consultants. Uh, we've got an in-house CPA, Joshua, an in-house estate planning attorney, Gerald, uh, an in-house Medicare advisor, Bill. Uh, we rely on all of those uh, professionals for, again, additional service within our co consultative process, making sure that we've got the advice and the expertise behind the recommendations that we make. You know, as an advisor, I'm not there to sell them one way or the other. I'm there to educate them, to let them know what their choices are. Then I try to help them make the right choice where they can save money and feel confident in their decision. Absolutely the best part of my job is getting a stack of paperwork from somebody and they don't know what to do and then I can turn around and give them back a tax return but also to be able to explain what they can do next year that will give them a better answer than what they had this year. When we've got clients that are calling and they need to help out a child or need to help out a grandchild or need to help themselves out and they're, they're in a situation they didn't expect to be in, I really relish the opportunity to help them through that, help them make the educated decisions in somewhat stressful situations, because a lot of folks don't have that type of counsel. We meet with so many people one-on-one -on -one in this office that don't ever end up becoming a customer or doing business with us, and that's okay. But when they leave our office, we know that we've helped them either get some answers to some of the questions they had or get some clarity on maybe their own path. But one of the things that we hear all the time is, I wish I would have met you guys 10 years ago because how much further could I be down the road? Well, Johnny Appleseed said, you know, when's the best time to plant a tree? 10 years ago. When's the second best time? Today. And so if we can help people today going forward, that just brings an incredible amount of comfort and excitement for us to come to work every day. Hi, and welcome back into Ion Retirement. A big part of what we do at Market Advisory Group is not just the financial planning, tax planning, estate planning, and Medicare advising. It's the education of our clients. And uh, Matt, I would say a, a good portion of a first meeting spent with people, that's a lot of back and forth of just educating them on where they're at. In some cases, people aren't really sure where they're at in their plan for retirement. And as far as what possible options could maximize their their retirement. Yeah, in fact, you bring up a good point there. That first meeting that we have, sometimes that's all we have because they maybe get answers to their questions or maybe we need to explore it further. But we'll often say at our classes that we'll teach around the Metro, we've set aside an hour time to chit chat with them, get to know them a little bit, mm -hmm. not there to sell them anything. So it's okay to say no, but we just wanna have a one-on-one -on -one with them get to know them, have them get to know us, answer any questions they may have, and have us point out maybe anything we see in their scenario that they need to maybe make some adjustments on. And if we need to go from there, we can. But we meet a lot of people that never become our clients, and that's okay. But we'll attend, or they attend maybe a lot of these classes that we'll put on around the Metro. In fact, we have a couple that comes to mind. Um, they attended one of our Social Security classes that we'll do once a month. And if you ever want to come to one of our classes, just call us and we'll get you into one of those. But he was a little older than her and she was a little younger. She had been a mail carrier, so she worked for the postal system, so she had a pension, but he was looking at when he should start taking Social Security because he turned 62 four or five months ago. So they really didn't know if there was any spousal benefits they could do there, but really 
a wind, windfall elimination pro, uh, provision really probably wiped out a lot of her future Social Security benefit, but she was still quite a bit quite a bit of ways off from that. I think she was 58. So she had several years, but they really wondered, should they start taking his? And after the course of the conversation, they arrived at the decision that they probably should go ahead and start taking his now. But they had a lot of things going on. They were a blended family. Uh, she had retirement accounts and her TSP. Uh, there was just a lot of different questions that once we started the meeting, it was quickly obvious that we needed to bring in tax professionals, the Medicare advisor, and the estate planning division. Joshua, it sounded like there was a lot going on in this particular example. So where do you start? How do you start unearthing maybe potential omissions or things that have been overlooked or savings that have been bypassed? Well, like Matt just said, we go through their situation and we, we talk about things that might jump out at us. And one of the things that jumped out when we started talking with them, I went through their last tax return, is that they were in the 12% bracket, but they weren't maximizing that out. You know, once we get out of the current set of tax reforms we're in, that 12% bracket goes away and those, those rates go back up. So they were not taking advantage of the situation they were in and they were not paying, they were not fully utilizing that that low tax bracket. And so we started talking about the fact that they could choose to take some income now out of their retirement accounts, pay tax on it now, and then permanently be done with taxes on those dollars. And they, they were actually pretty excited about that because, you know, who wants to pay taxes in the future? Well, we, we see this all the time. This isn't really something that dawns on people that they should be doing, number one, but number two, that they're a good candidate for. And since he didn't have much income and was pretty much semi-retired or basically retired, and she was already retired. They, they had $40,000 plus they could probably take out of her retirement accounts, and like you said, pay the taxes today and move it to a tax-free account. That's right, and in their specific situation, the fact they were pulling it out of her federal retirement benefits meant that uh, it wasn't subject to state taxes. Now, every state's gonna treat that a little bit differently, but that's why it's important to work with, with a tax professional who understands not just that you gotta pay taxes, but how these different pieces interplay together to get to that final answer. Corey Hebert, Market Medicare Advisors. In this particular example, one, uh, one of the couple was still federally covered under a health care plan, correct? Yes, the, the wife was still covered under that federal plan because she was working for the, the mail service, but the husband was approaching 65 and he was covered under that insurance with her. So the question that was presented to me was, I'm about to turn 65, what do I need to do with Medicare? Um, I really like these federal benefits and they had been very happy with that federal plan that they had had. So I did give them the news that drawing Medicare at 65 when you still have creditable coverage is not required. However, I did have them in my office and I made them give me a minute of their time to review Medicare options. And by the time we were done with that conversation, even though he does have the option to keep that worker's insurance, we were able to find a Medicare plan that not only offered better coverage, it was less expensive monthly for them. So it's always good to know that you do have that option of keeping your worker's insurance, but that you do have options when you turn 65 and it's, you're not locked into that one plan. And uh, Devin, we'll, we'll finish up this scenario with you. This particular family was a blended family, so there's a little bit different planning that goes into that, I'm assuming. Right, and you're probably wondering what is a blended family? Um, they both had uh, kids from a prior marriage. Uh, he had two sons, she had two daughters. Um, they had gotten married later in life, um, but they'd still been married uh, quite a bit of time, eight or nine years in fact. Um, he had already, the conundrum they ran into, he had already paid off his house. And so they, they were trying to figure out what to do with that asset in case he uh, predeceased her. Um, would she still be able to live in the house? Um, ultimately, um, if she got remarried, what would they do with that asset? Um, and ultimately, they, he wanted the house to go to his two kids, to his two sons. Um, and part of that was because she already had this uh, retirement pension, and so her children would be taken care of. 
And so they kind of wanted to fair, fairly distribute the assets. And so I had to sit with them and figure out the right way to do that, the proper way to, proper channel to get that figured out. I think the aha moment for both of them was, since she's about five years younger, when you ask them, well, what happens if you pass away first, Ricky, and then she remarries, technically your sons could get disinherited. And that was like a, mm -hmm. oh man, we don't want that to happen. So that was a great conversation to have. So they knew they had, um, they had some thinking to do and they worked with Devin and Eidelman Law Firm to get an estate plan that addressed those concerns. Getting the affairs in order and not just the estate planning affairs, but all the affairs as they pertain to retirement is exactly what we do at Market Advisory Group. If you'd like to set up a complimentary no obligation consultation, we'd love to take your call and set that up for you at 316-252-8707. Also, visit our website at ionretirement.com. There you can catch past episodes or submit a question for us to potentially use in a future episode. We'll be back with the final segment of Ion Retirement right after this. How confident are you in your current financial plan? Do you know with certainty how the recent market volatility will affect your future hopes and dreams? How much are you paying in taxes? And how much are you losing to unnecessary high fees? You didn't work to save this money so that you could spend your time worried in retirement. Now is the time to take charge of your finances so you can feel confident about your future. Call in during the next 30 minutes of today's show only to set up an absolutely complimentary, no obligation, full-blown financial review that will result in your own customized written plan. This is a $999 value that we're giving away complimentary to the first 10 people who respond. We'll start with a full-blown analysis of what you already have. By running a report to untangle how much you are currently paying in fees, how you're allocated for risk, and what it's costing to work with your current advisor. Next, we'll identify your goals. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Where do you want to go, and who do you hope to go there with? Is your current financial plan set up to get you there without mishap? Let's design a roadmap to create a financial plan you can follow with confidence. Get the piece that so many people are missing from their retirement. Find out how having a written plan can make a difference to your retirement dreams. Call now to schedule your complimentary, no-obligation, full-blown financial review today. Hi, and welcome back into Eye on Retirement. Market volatility is something that everyone who has an interest in the markets is aware of. And market volatility at one phase of life is sometimes a lot easier to overcome than market volatility later in life. And in this next example, you had folks that were dealing with just that situation. Yeah, actually, they wanted none of it. <laughs> so they had a lot of their money just sitting at the bank and CDs, they, mm -hmm. they didn't want to participate in the ups and downs the market can give you, but the bank really wasn't paying them much in the way of any kind of reasonable rate of return. I mean, there were a lot of different things that were available to them that they had no idea. And then you factor in tax considerations and everything else like that. But we had fixed instruments that we could help them look at that might be appropriate for them that were paying better rates than the bank was. And then also there were some tax advantages to that, which I won't take Joshua's thunder there, but that, that helped them, right? Uh, that's right. So they had a, a sizable nest egg sitting in a, just a, a bank account. I think they were using CDs. And yeah, it was getting them a little bit of interest, but like you said, th that you know there were better options available. And because it was just earning interest, they were having to pay tax on that interest, even though they weren't getting the cash to deal with those taxes. And when that mismatch happens, that can be pretty painful. Corey, you also stepped in in this situation. Um, they had questions about prescription drug plans, as I recall. Yeah, so they're a little over the age of 65. They're actually approaching 70. And the husband was under the assumption that once he got his prescription drug plan, he was kind of locked in place. And he had never looked at other options that he had had on the market because he picked his plan and that's what he was going to have for the rest of his life. Well. Over time, his prescription drug plan changes, his premium changes, his co-payments change, and most importantly, his medications change. Um, and because of all of those changes, everybody goes through those changes. 
During the open enrollment period, October 15th through December 7th, every single person that has a prescription drug plan or Medicare Advantage plan is allowed to make changes to that plan with absolutely no underwriting. So we did have to put that meeting off to change his plan for a couple months to get to that open enrollment period. But once we got there, we found him a much better drug plan that covered his current prescriptions. Well, some of the things that you and I have experienced is one year, one pharmacy can be covered by that plan. And then if they're not looking to the next year, that pharmacy might not even participate in that plan anymore. Pharmaceutical networks, that's one thing that is often untalked about when it comes to prescription drug plans. Um, you could be going across the street to a different pharmacy. And I've seen that personally save thousand dollars for one year. Devin Seward, Eidelman Law Firm, we're, we're getting short on time, but quickly, this was an example where people didn't have designated heirs, per se, to leave their estate to, and you were able to point out the different options available. Right. I remember this particular couple. Um, they met later in life, so they didn't have any kids. They didn't have your typical heirs that they could leave an inheritance to. So uh, they met with me and I tried to c help them come up with some solutions. Um, you can give it away your assets to charity. You can pick a Salvation Army or a local food bank or maybe your alma mater. Maybe the school that helped um, get your education. And so I, f I went over certain options with them that help them figure out where they wanted to leave their assets to and also um, I helped them go over their uh, funeral disposition. They, um, this particular lady, she wanted to be cremated and she wanted all of her ashes to be spread all over the state of Iowa. That's where she grew up and so I helped her put that in her will and so we figured out a resolution for her to that problem. Matt, three real life cases in today's show that involved every member of the team. It happens almost every day where either people we've worked with for years have tax, Medicare, or estate planning questions, or people we just meet for the first time, they have questions too, and it's just so wonderful to have that around one table right there and get answers in that moment and not have to refer them to anyone else because I'm only a licensed investment advisor. I can't give tax, legal, or estate planning or medical advice. Do you have a whole team looking out for your best interest in retirement? At Market Advisory Group, we provide a holistic approach to retirement planning, leaving no stone unturned from the financial planning to tax planning, Medicare advising, and estate planning. And we do it all under one roof for your convenience. We'd love to set up a complimentary, no obligation consultation, and our operators are standing by right now at 316-252-8707. 316-252-8707. That's all the time we have this week. I'm Rick Everett reminding you we're here to keep an eye on retirement. This broadcast is intended for informational and educational purposes only. The views, statements, and opinions expressed herein are those of the individual speakers and not necessarily those of foundations and its affiliates. The information contained herein does not constitute an offer to sell any securities or represent an express or implied opinion or endorsement of any specific investment opportunity, offering, or issuer. Any discussion of performance or returns is not indicative of future results. Each individual investor situation is different, and any ideas provided may not be appropriate for your particular circumstances. Foundations only transact business in the states where it is registered or is excluded or exempt from registration requirements. Registration as an investment advisor is not an endorsement of the firm by security regulators and does not mean the advisor has achieved a specific level of skill or ability. Legal services are offered by Adam and Law Firm. Tax services offered by Market Tax Services. Market Advisory Group does not provide legal or tax advice. Investment advisory services are offered by Foundations Investment Advisors LLC, an SEC registered investment advisor.